Being a cook is fun, especially when you do a good job because everybody loves you. Brian's Barbecue, it's a time-honored tradition. I started Brian's Barbecue back in 88. It was always my vision of, of what I thought a Texas barbecue was. I personally spent a number of years up in uh, New York. To get him back from New York, we pretty well had to promise barbecue whiskey. My dad told me I have about a year to get back down here and work in the family business or he's gonna sell it to somebody else. Our cousin Kevin had been there and we all worked together at the barbecue for uh, two years. Three of us kind of teamed up and decided that we wanted to expand upon Brian's barbecue. They all have their strengths and together it just seems to work really well for the boys. We wanted to kind of put our own spin on things and still keeping true to the tradition of smoked meat, low and slow. The fill station was our chance to kind of uh, express our creativity. It came out as, as a whiskey bar with over a few hundred different types of whiskeys. All he told me, Dad, I'll have the highest ranking whiskeys available, are the rarest, and I said they'll never sell in Lake Jackson. He has proven to me that we have shops that sell up to a $400 for an ounce and a half, and we have executives that will come and buy it. The food and the, the alcohol are both uh, very balanced. I don't think anyone comes up short. The rare whiskeys that we have, we have whiskey people from the Houston area to Galveston to, that come over here just for that. I kind of pictured it as being, in my mind, like a, a classed up ice house. Every customer came in and they felt like they were home. We know how much each restaurant will typically take in a typical week's time so we can prepare. Uh, bring in the meat we need. This being an old Sinclair station, the bodega that we just opened up, um, it'll be a year, uh, I think next week or in two weeks. Uh, the bodega is an old uh, Phillips station. Whenever I was a kid, I remember growing up it, driving past it, it went every, was everything from a window tent, um, an audio shop, a four-wheel parts store. There's a lot of really, really good barbecue places in Texas. There's a, a lot of really good whiskey bars. I take a, a lot of pride in that we can put all of it together and, and make something really special. My dad is uh, he's very, I mean, he, he built a heck of a legacy for us. Uh, he, he always told us to hold ourselves to a high standard. Moving down here with $400 in a pickup truck to where we are today, it's, uh, it's the American dream.